Good evening, I'm Paul Fraser and this is the 7 o'clock news from Bahrain Television. His Majesty King Hamid bin Isa Al Khalifa patronised today in the presence of His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, and His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Premier, Prince Salman bin Hamid Al Khalifa, a ceremony held on the occasion of implementing the recommendations of the Bahrain Independent Commission of Inquiry, that's the BICI, at Sahir Palace. After reciting verses from the Holy Quran, the Minister of Justice, Islamic Affairs and Endowments, Sheikh Khalid bin Ali Al Khalifa, delivered a speech. يلقي معالي الشيخ خالد بن علي آل خليفة وزير العدل والشؤون الإسلامية والأوقاف كلمة بهذه المناسبة بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم والصلاة والسلام على خير الخلق سيدنا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين سيدي the Minister of Justice, Islamic Affairs and Endowments, Sheikh Khalid bin Ali Al Khalifa, welcomed the former chairman of the Bahrain Independent Commission of Inquiry, BICI, Professor Mahmoud Sharif Basioni. The Minister of Justice affirmed the Kingdom's commitment to implement the recommendations of the Bahrain Independent Commission of Inquiry in all fields. He also expressed appreciation for all those who participated in implementing the recommendations. The Minister expressed thanks and appreciation to the Government of the United Kingdom for its support of the national efforts through providing consultation services and extended his thanks to the American Bar Association, the United Nations Office on Drugs and Crime, 
and to the United Nations Development Program. وقد عكست تقارير جهاز المتابعة لتنفيذ التوصيات الصادرة في الأعوام 2012 و13 و14 هذه الجهود المخلصة إضافة إلى ما يصدر من تقارير بشكل دوري شهري وسنوي وحتى هذه اللحظة من العديد من الجهات والمؤسسات المستقلة التي أنشئت خلال تلك الفترة حيث أوردت بالتفصيل ما قامت به الحكومة من إجراءات وبرامج وبما يعكس مدى جديتها وشفافيتها التامة في تنفيذ توصيات اللجنة البحرينية المستقلة لتقصي الحقائق سيدي صاحب الجلالة لقد جاء تشكيل اللجنة البحرينية المستقلة لتقصي الحقائق وقبول تقريرها ومن ثم تكليفكم السامي للحكومة آنذاك باتخاذ كافة الإجراءات اللازمة لتنفيذ كافة التوصيات على أكمل وجه ليضع حدا فاصلا وحاسما لبداية تجاوز آثار تلك الأحداث بأفضل وجه ممكن فكانت بذلك بادرة غير مسبوقة وأنموذجا فريدا يقدم على معالجة مثل هذا النوع من التحديات والانطلاق لتصحيح الأوضاع تكريسا لمبادئ العدالة والشفافية والمساءلة وفي ضوء ذلك التكليف صدر الأمر السامي بإنشاء اللجنة الوطنية المعنية بتنفيذ التوصيات برئاسة معالي السيد علي بن صالح الصالح وعضوية شخصيات بارزة يمثلون كافة قطاعات المجتمع من ذوي الخبرات القانونية والتشريعية وممثل الجمعيات السياسية ومنظمات المجتمع المدني وكذلك تم تشكيل فريق للعمل الحكومي المكلف بمتابعة التوصيات برئاسة سمو الشيخ محمد بن مبارك آل خليفة ثم تبعه لاحقا صدور قرار بإنشاء جهاز متابعة تنفيذ التوصيات وتكليف وزير العدل والشؤون الإسلامية والأوقاف بمتابعة ذلك وفي هذا الإطار فإن حكومة مملكة البحرين قد التزمت بإعادة الطلبة إلى الجامعات والموظفين إلى أعمالهم وتمت التسوية المدنية لحالات الوفاة والمصابين مع عدم الإخلال بحق اللجوء إلى المحاكم المختصة وتم أيضا إنشاء وحدة التحقيقات الخاصة بالنيابة العامة والأمانة العامة للتظلمات بوزارة الداخلية ومكتب المفتش العام بجهاز الأمن الوطني وإعادة المحاكمات ومراجعة الأحكام أمام القضاء العادي وإجراء تعديلات على العديد من القوانين وخاصة قانون الإجراءات الجنائية وقانون العقوبات وتدريب السادة القضاء وأعضاء النيابة العامة ومسؤولي إنفاذ القانون والمحامين وتحقيق مبدأ بناء دور العبادة للجميع بشكل قانوني صحيح وفي الأماكن المخصصة لها تبعا للاشتراطات التنظيمية المعتمدة دون تعد على أملاك المواطنين كما قامت الحكومة أيضا ببعض الإجراءات الإضافية مثل إنشاء مفوضية لحقوق السجناء والمحتجزين بهدف حمايتهم وضمان عدم تعرضهم لأية انتهاكات ويظهر الواقع الآن ما تحظى به هذه الأجهزة من ثقة عالية لدى المواطنين نظرا لما تتمتع به اختصاصاتها وأعمالها من استقلالية وشفافية وحيادية وفي هذا الصدد أنوه بانتخاب الدكتور علي بن فضل البعينين النائب العام نائبا لرئيس الجمعية الدولية لأعضاء النيابة العامة وكذلك منح المعام العام رئيس وحدة التحقيق الخاصة السيد نواف عبد الله حمزة جائزة المدعي العام لسنة 2015 من قبل الجمعية الدولية للمدعين العامين وذلك تقديرا لدورهما وجهودهما المميزة في مجال العدالة وكذلك منح الاتحاد الأوروبي جائزة شايو لتعزيز حقوق الإنسان في منطقة الخليج للعام 2014 للمؤسسة الوطنية لحقوق الإنسان والأمانة العامة للتظلمات بوزارة الداخلية سيدي صاحب الجلالة إن الحكومة ومن خلال عملها على تحقيق هذه البرامج والمبادرات واجهت عدة تحديات أهمها أعمال الإرهاب والعنف الذي استهدفت أمن المواطن والوطن وسعت إلى تقويض منجزات الدولة الحديثة وعرقالة تقدم المشروع الإصلاحي والمساس بالسلم الأهلي وتقويض مرتكزات المواطنة والشرعية وقد كشفت التقارير الأمنية عن وجود تدخلات غير مشروعة لأطراف إقليمية في الأحداث التي وقعت في عام 2011 في البحرين وهو ما أكدته أحكام المحاكم في العديد من القضايا التي ضبطت خلال الأعوام الماضية 
والتي تضمنت تلقي تدريبات عسكرية خارج البحرين فضلاً عن ضبط العديد من الأسلحة والمتفجرات التي أثبت الفحص أنها مماثلة لتلك التي تستخدمها جهات تتبع تلك الأطراف وهي تدخلات مثبتة بالأدلة القاطعة ولعبت دوراً رئيسياً في تغذية الإرهاب والتخريب وقد قابل تلك التحديات دعوة جلالتكم السامية لحوار التوافق الوطني الذي تزامن مع تلك الظروف لتؤكد فتح أبواب المشاركة من خلال المؤسسات الدستورية فأتت مشاركة الأغلبية الشعبية في انتخابات التكميلية في العام 2011 رغم التهديد الإرهابي الذي أعقب محاولة تعطيل السلطة التشريعية بعد نحو شهرين من الانتخابات النيابية في العام 2010 ومن ثم تعزز ذلك في انتخابات العام 2014 بحضور مختلف شرائح المجتمع واكتمال مشاركة الجميع وهنا نؤكد على أن نجاح مملكة البحرين في تجاوز ذلك المنعطف وما كان يرمى منه جاء ليعزز مرجعية ميثاق العمل الوطني الجامعة لكل البحرينيين وترسيخ ضمانة المشروع الإصلاحي لجلالتكم في رفض البناء والإصلاح المستمر سيدي صاحب الجلالة أمام مقامكم السامي لا بد من ذكر الكثيرين ممن ساهموا بجهودهم في تنفيذ توصيات لجنة تقص الحقائق ولا يتسع المجال لذكرهم جميعا ولكن لا يفوتني أن أتقدم بالشكر والتقدير الخاص لسمو الشيخ محمد بن مبارك آل خليفة رئيس فريق العمل الحكومي وكذلك لمعالي السيد علي بن صالح الصالح رئيس مجلس الشورى من خلال رئاسته اللجنة الوطنية المعنية بتنفيذ التوصيات والتي وضع أعضاؤها الموقرون تفاصيل خارطة الطريق لتنفيذ التوصيات ومعالي الشيخ خالد بن عبد الله آل خليفة نائب رئيس مجلس الوزراء والفريق الرقل معالي الشيخ راشد بن عبد الله آل خليفة وزير الداخلية ومعالي الشيخ خالد بن أحمد آل خليفة وزير الخارجية والدكتور ماجد بن علي النعيمي وزير التربية والتعليم والدكتور علي بن فضل البوعينين النائب العام والسيد جميل بن محمد علي حميدان وزير العمل والتنمية الاجتماعية والسيد هشام بن محمد الجودر وزير الشباب والرياضة والمستشار القاضي خالد محي الدين أحمد الذي رأس فريق التحقيق في لجنة التقصي وقدم المساندة الفنية لجهاز تنفيذ التوصيات والسيد نواف عبد الله حمزة المحامي العام رئيس وحدة التحقيقات الخاصة بالنيابة العامة والسيد نواف محمد المعاود الأمين العام للتظلمات والسيد محمد راشد الرميحي المفتش العام بجهاز الأمن الوطني والآن سدانا خميس الزياني الوكيل المساعد بوزارة العدل رئيس جهاز متابعة تنفيذ التوصيات وكذلك الشكر والتقدير لأعضاء ورجال السلطة القضائية وأعضاء اللجنة الوطنية المعنية بتنفيذ التوصيات والمؤسسة الوطنية لحقوق الإنسان وكافة الوزارات والجهات المشاركة والمساهمة في تنفيذ التوصيات كما نتقدم بجزيل الشكر وبالغ التقدير لحكومة المملكة المتحدة على مساعدتها حكومة مملكة البحرين في إطار علاقات الصداقة التاريخية ودعمها هذه الجهود الوطنية الخالصة وخصوصا من خلال الخبرات والاستشارات التقنية المقدمة من مؤسسة سلين ومفتشية السجون البريطانية ومركز بينغهام لسيادة القانون والمدرسة البريطانية الوطنية للحكومة وكذلك الشكر موصول لجمعية المحامين الأمريكيين ومكتب الأمم المتحدة لمكافحة الجريمة والمخدرات وبرنامج الأمم المتحدة الإنمائي سيدي صاحب الجلالة ومع وقفة الشكر والتقدير لكل من ساهم في جهود مملكة البحرين في تخطي هذه الفترة الاستثنائية وساند ودعم الجهود الوطنية في تنفيذ توصيات لجنة تقص الحقائق يأتي الأستاذ الدكتور محمود شريف بسيوني من خلال رئاسته اللجنة البحرينية المستقلة لتقص الحقائق وكذلك أثناء رئاسته المعهد الدولي للدراسات العليا للعلوم الجنائية في سيراكوزا في إيطاليا والذي قدم دورات تدريب عالية المستوى لما يزيد على نسبة 50% من القضاة وأعضاء النيابة العامة وكذلك القضاء العسكري وجهات إنفاذ القانون وهو التعاون الذي تم تعزيزه الآن من خلال المعهد القضائي وإنه لا يشرفني في ختام هذه الكلمة أن تسمح لي يا صاحب الجلالة أن أدعو سعادة البروفيسور محمود شريف بسيوني للتشرف بنيل وسام البحرين من الدرجة الأولى تقديرا له ولما قدمه من مساندة فليتفضل مشكورا His Majesty the King then decorated Professor Mahmoud Sharif Basiouni with the Bahrain Order of the First Class. 
and presented the Order of Competence to the Interior Ministry's Ombudsman, Nawaf Mohammed Al Mawada, <laughs> the Inspector General of the National Security Apparatus, Mohammed Rashid Al Ramehi. The Ministry of Justice, Islamic Affairs and Endowments, Assistant Under Secretary for Statistics, Planning and Communication, Dana Al Zayani. <laughs> Professor Mahmoud Sharif Bassioni expressed pride in receiving the Bahrain Order of the First Class and lauded His Majesty King Hamid bin Isa Al Khalifa's keenness to further the Kingdom at all levels. He also hailed the remarkable efforts exerted in order to implement the recommendations aimed at maintaining the Kingdom's security and stability. He then expressed his thanks and appreciation to His Majesty the King and wished His Majesty and the people of Bahrain further progress and prosperity under the reform project of His Majesty the King. Since the establishment of the Bahraini Independent Commission for Inquiry by Royal Order 28 for 2011 by His Majesty the King, 95% of its recommendations has been implemented. The Commission was tasked with investigating and reporting on the events that took place in Bahrain from February 2011 and the consequences of those events. Although commissions of inquiry are often created by external mandate, the BICI was the product of internal decision-making and benefited from a consultation process with various bodies, including the United Nations High Commissioner for Human Rights. The BICI is wholly independent from the government and has been afforded full access to government agencies, officials and files. It has also been granted access to all places and people and had the ability to meet with witnesses in secret and to adopt protective measures for witnesses. The Royal Order also granted the Commission the authority to decide on all matters concerning the scope of its work and its methods of operation and outlined that the Commission's final report is made public. In November 28, 2011, His Majesty the King issued a royal order establishing the National Commission assigned to follow up the recommendations of the BICI. The committee is tasked with reviewing the laws and procedures which were implemented in the wake of the events in February and March 2011. It has also tasked the committee to make recommendations to the legislative body to carry out appropriate modifications to the existing laws and to set up new legislations to implement the recommendations of legislative reform as contained in the report of the BICI. Some of the highlights of implementing the BICI proposals included amendment in the number of legislations to prevent incitement to violence, improve media standards and upgrade human rights laws, in addition to developing educational programs. Bahrain's constant resolve to continue developing its justice system and its commitment to implementing all of BICI recommendations reflects the atmosphere of transparency and commitment to upgrading democracy in order to make a positive impact on the political, economic and social development of Bahrain. His Majesty King Hamid bin Isa Al Khalifa received today at Sakhir Palace President of the Constitutional Court, Sheikh Khalifa bin Rashid Al Khalifa. Sheikh Khalifa bin Rashid introduced to His Majesty the King Dr. Muna Al Khwari and she took the legal oath before His Majesty the King after appointing her a member of the Constitutional Court. His Majesty congratulated Dr. Al Khwari, wishing her success in performing her national responsibility. He praised the role of the Constitutional Court in strengthening and consolidating the principles of justice, abiding by the law and its overall respect for the Constitution. His Majesty also hailed the contribution of Bahraini women in the National March and enhancing Bahrain's position in various fields, regionally and internationally, confirming that Bahrain will achieve further progress and enhance the principles of justice and equality. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, met today at Gudabia Palace with His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Premier, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, and his son, His Highness Sheikh Isa bin Salman Al Khalifa. The Prime Minister congratulated His Majesty the King, His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and his son on the birth of baby boy, His Highness Sheikh Abdullah bin Isa bin Salman Al Khalifa, wishing His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and his family continued happiness. The meeting also discussed reinforcing facilities provided by government ministries and bodies to enhance the competitive ability of the Kingdom in the field of attracting investment. The Royal Highnesses also reviewed initiatives to develop the economic and commercial fields that are based on new technologies to upgrade the investment environment and speed up operations completion, as well as to support the private sector in contributing in the commercial, industrial and tourism fields and providing more job opportunities for citizens.
His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, met at Gurubia Palace today the Speaker of the Representatives Council, Ahmed Al Mullah, and Speaker of the Shura Council, Ali Al Salah, in the presence of former Representative Speaker Khalifa Al Dahrani and several MPs. His Royal Highness affirmed the government's resolve to reinforce the existing partnership with the Legislative Authority in the service of both the country and the people. He commended the directives of His Majesty the King to meet the demands of the people and asserted that the next phase will see further expansion projects in the fields of health, education and housing. The Prime Minister expressed satisfaction after his recent visit to the Council of Representatives, during which he saw the keenness of MPs to expand fields of cooperation between the executive and legislative authority and a commitment to meet the aspirations of the people. His Royal Highness congratulated the Speaker of the Representatives Council on being chosen amongst the most influential personalities in general, charity and social work in the Arab world by the Arab Achievers for Development Institution in Egypt. His Royal Highness said further cooperation is needed to preserve the security and stability of the country and stressed the importance of utilizing the media to support the process of national development. He said differences in social views can be overcome, asserting that the people of Bahrain are committed to their national unity and social cohesion. The Prime Minister added that the current regional economic challenges are combined with threats targeting the region's resources and stability. He stressed that the countries of the Gulf Cooperation Council have succeeded in overcoming these challenges. Regarding the achievements of Bahraini women, His Royal Highness the Prime Minister praised their role in the development of the kingdom. For his part, Representative Speaker Al Mullah expressed thanks for congratulating him on the honour by Arab Achievers for Development Institutions, stressing that it reflects the people's love and dedication for charity and social solidarity. He asserted the Prime Minister is a pioneer in the field of humanitarian and charity initiatives, highlighting his interest in supporting cooperation between the executive and legislative authorities. Amullah said that His Royal Highness's recent visit to the Council has motivated the members to exert further efforts to achieve their goals and serve the country and its people.
Israel Highness the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, chaired the weekly cabinet meeting at Gurubia Palace today in the presence of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Premier, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister directed that more specialised medical conferences should be held in order to continue the development of the health service sector in the Kingdom. He noted the importance of the 13th edition of the Ophthalmology Congress for the Middle East and North Africa, MENA, which was held in the Kingdom under His Royal Highness's patronage. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister urged the adoption of initiatives that aim to facilitate trade and economic transactions and hailed the launching of the Siljat Commercial Registration Portal by His Royal Highness the Crown Prince as it will allow the private sector to contribute in the Kingdom's economic development. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister then congratulated press and media personnel on the occasion of Bahraini Press Day and expressed appreciation for their keenness to maintain the Kingdom's national gains and spread the values of patriotism and belonging to the Kingdom, affirming the government's constant keenness to support freedom of speech. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister directed the acceleration of efforts regarding the drafting of a recognised law to organise press and media affairs and directed the Minister of Information Affairs to cooperate with the authorised bodies. His Royal Highness directed the Ministry of Housing to follow up with citizens' needs in Demistan, Kazakhan, Sanad and Al Ali villages. He also directed the Minister of Works, Municipality Affairs and Urban Planning to study the situation of poultry farms with regard to the selling of their products. A number of topics were discussed during the meeting. The Cabinet approved three laws regarding civil defence. The Cabinet also approved a draft law on the executive regulations of Law 6 of 2014 of the GCC trademark. Three draft laws were approved and the Cabinet referred them to the Legislative Authority for further studies. The signing of four agreements and MOUs between Bahrain and Switzerland in various fields was also approved. The Cabinet approved amending certain law provisions of Law 74 of 2006 regarding the rehabilitation of people with special needs and referred it to the Representatives Council for further study. Finally, the Cabinet reviewed seven suggestions from the Representatives Council. Representative of His Majesty the King for Charity Work and Youth Affairs, Chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports and President of the Bahrain Olympic Committee, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa chaired the seventh meeting of the BOC Board of Directors today. His Highness congratulated Bahrain Athletics Association on winning 20 medals, that's 14 gold and 5 silver and 1 bronze, whilst participating in the 17th Arab Athletic Championship that was held in Algeria, affirming that this achievement is thanks to the support of the wise leadership and chairman of Bahrain Athletics Association, His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamid Al Khalifa. The meeting then included discussions on the committee's general secretariat reports, such as the Sheikh Issa bin Rashid Al Khalifa Award for Voluntary Work, besides the third GCC Sport and Environment Conference held in Dubai between February 24th and the 27th of this year. The meeting also discussed reports relevant to Women's Training Centre Action Plan and the medical clinics programmes. Representative of His Majesty the King for Charity Work and Youth Affairs, Chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports and President of the Bahrain Olympic Committee, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa congratulated First Deputy Chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sport, President of West Asia Athletics Federation, His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa on winning 20 medals, that's 14 gold, 5 silver and 1 bronze, whilst participating in the 17th Arab Athletic Championship that was held in Algeria. His Highness Sheikh Nasser praised the continuous support of the wise leadership and their efforts in providing the correct environment for the sports sector. His Highness hailed the efforts of Sheikh Khalid and his role for making this achievement, which encourages further accomplishments in the future. He also praised the efforts of the team, which affirms Bahrain's position in the Arab field. 
First Deputy Chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sport, President of West Asia Athletics Federation and Chairman of Bahrain Athletic Association, His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamid Al Khalifa congratulated His Majesty King Hamid bin Isa Al Khalifa on the occasion of Bahrain winning 20 medals. That's 14 gold, 5 silver and 1 bronze whilst participating in the 17th Arab Athletic Championship that was held in Algeria, praising the continuous support of His Majesty the King. He also congratulated His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, Representative of His Majesty the King for Charity Work and Youth Affairs, Chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports and President of Bahrain Olympic Committee, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa for their continuous support in this field. He hailed the efforts of the team and the supervising committee in the championship, which affirms Bahrain's position in the Arab field. His Highness affirmed that achievement will motivate the kingdom to make further accomplishments in the future. Under the patronage of the first Deputy President of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sport, President of Bahrain Athletics Association and founder of the KHK Mixed Martial Arts Team, His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa, the GCC Creativity Conference 2016 was launched yesterday at the Regency Intercontinental Hotel in the presence of the Youth and Sports Minister Hisham Al Jauda, Head of the Representatives Councils, Youth and Sports Committee, MP Ghazi Al Rahma, the Governor of the Capital Government, Sheikh Hisham bin Abdul Rahman Al Khalifa, the President of Arab Science and Technology Foundation, Dr. Abdullah Al Naja, and a number of senior officials and academics. Sheikh Khalid stressed Bahrain's pioneering steps in hosting scientific and innovative conferences aimed at developing Bahraini youth's skills. He also affirmed that the reform project of His Majesty King Hamid bin Isa Al Khalifa has given a great importance to the scientific and technological field. His Highness hailed Bahrain's government led by His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa and His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Premier Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa through its plans and strategies for supporting youth. His Highness also praised the huge efforts of His Majesty the King's representative for charity work and youth affairs, President of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports and President of Bahrain Olympic Committee, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, to develop initiatives for supporting young people's creativity and innovation in social, cultural and sports fields.